overlay uh, to create a stamen for a flower and or an antenna for a dragonfly or a butterfly. It's the same process for both, just wanted to show you how you attach them. Um, for this project, you'll need 18 gauge tinned copper wire. It's thin and pliable, but yet has enough body so that your antennas will hold up well. Um, you, might, you have to use copper wire uh, in order for the solder to adhere to it. And um, if you don't, if you can't find tin, which I do have here in the shop, you can buy it by the foot. Uh, but uh, if you have copper wire at home, all you have to do is uh, flux it and tin it with some solder if you want it to be silver. Otherwise, you can leave it copper color. That's your choice. Okay, the first thing you're going to know is when you undo your spool, your wire is going to be kinked. So, in order to get rid of those kinks, I'm going to bring it over here to the vise. And I set my roll in there and I tighten up my vise. Now, if you have a partner you can trust, you get one on one end and the other on the other end with two pliers, you can pull this. But when you're alone, this is what you do. All right, so I'm going to pull it with the pliers. But notice the kinks. And now as I pull it, it gave a little bit of a pull there. And now I have a nice, straight, unkinked piece of wire to work with. So now I'm going to bring it over to my project. I put together a small little flower just to use as my uh, example of how to do this. Um, so the first thing you're going to do, and as you can see for the pattern for this particular one, it has three little stamens coming out the center. You can use this as a guide as to what size you need your stamens, or you can draw them on your flower, whatever is best for you. So the first thing you would do you take a little jewelry tool. I don't know what they call these, but it's a good one for making loops. You're going to grab it from the end, and you're just going to make one little turn like so. Then you'll see you have this little circle. Now you need galvanized metal, aluminum, anything that the solder will not stick to. I'm going to take a generous amount of flux. Grab some solder, just set it in there, and let the magic work. Now let that sit a while because it takes a little bit for that to cool down. If you pull it away too soon, you're just gonna get a dip, it's gonna run through. So once you know that it's hardened, you can pull it away. Now you have your nice little end of your stamen or your antenna. Another step that I should have shown you, um, sometimes you'll want to use a stick to hold your wire down because your wire can get pretty hot. Even with gloves, I have found that heat to go through the glove. So I forgot to show you that part. So as I make the second one, and again, I'm letting that solidify before I move on to making the next one. You'll notice that I've already cut one of them. Okay, now I'm going to cut another one. It doesn't matter at this point where I cut them. We're just trying to get our pieces ready. This particular flower is using three, so I'll make three. Again, using my stick. But I really want to get these up onto my solder. So I'm going to pick them up and get them up here, get them where they need to be. Sometimes this is the trickiest part. Okay, I like that placement. So now I'm going to put this stick down. I'll turn this so you can see my stick there to hold them in place nice and tight flux some solder I'm 
Okay, now come up to give it a little bit of a 3D effect. And there you have it. You have your stamens for your flower. Okay, now I'm going to show you just the one step that you can do for making antennas for butterflies and dragonflies, etc. Um, unlike when we did the stamens for the flower because we had three separate pieces, for an antenna what you can do is you can take a piece of wire, just make a V, like so, cut the end, and you make these as long as you want for your antenna. Now the important part here is you're going to curl one of these to your left and you're going to curl the other one to your right like so. And now just as before with the flower we're going to flux and solder. And you're just dropping that solder in there and just let it do its thing. If it flattens out like that don't worry about it. Let it cool down a little bit and redo it and it'll puff right up. Like so. Okay, we're gonna let that cool down a little bit. And now when you wanna attach this to your butterfly, uh, depending on how far you want it, you know, you can squeeze these together and then once you have it attached, like let's pretend this is the butterfly at the end, or even if it's inside, you get it attached. And then again, you can just fold these up, give them a little curve, and you've got antennas for a butterfly. And that's it for wire, simple wire overlay. When you're making a little sun catcher that has no frame, it's just a free free edges. Um, you want something a little nicer than just your flat uh, tinned edges. You can round those edges by doing this. First step, flux. Give it a little tin, just using some of the solder you already have. Okay, the trick to this is lots of flux and a clean soldering iron. So use your sponge often. All right, you wanna hold the piece level. In other words, if you're working right here, you don't want it on angle, you want it flat. Take some solder and just go up and down. A little bit more, up and down. Put it in several spots first. Turn the piece as your contour demands. Keep going. All right, now that I've got it all applied, I want to go back and smooth all this out. So now I'm just going to do a little tapping. And I'm going to stop right there because the piece has to turn. I want this to solidify before I turn the piece. If I don't, it's just going to drip down. So now I can turn it, go over to my next curve. Turn again and I'm done. And now you can see the nice rounded edge versus a flat edge. So that's how you would tin raw edges.